as we speak, we're seeing uh, these buses start rolling out. You can see a line of them heading out on their routes as they head out around the valley. And as you mentioned, there is one bus stop where parents say that they've been concerned. This busy stretch of Boulder Highway near Russell is a CCSD bus stop. Honestly, it's pretty dangerous. Students and parents say it's not safe. After I came home from school one day, there was a hobo sleeping behind the electricity box. They say last year their bus stop was changed from inside their cul-de-sac to the edge of the street at what they say is a dangerous intersection. Aside from doubling the time it takes them to walk, they're also worried about the cars speeding by and this hole that kids have to walk by. I've actually had to grab a kid because he almost fell into the giant hole in the ground that is not covered. It's filled with water and trash and glass. But this school year, CCSD says their bus stop will stay the same again. Parents hope they'll change it. It's not about their convenience. It's about the safety of our children. Now, obviously, it is very busy, but we did bring this to CCSD's attention. They say they will try and get us a response on their concerns by today. Reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News. All right, we want to take a look at some more new schools. Chopper 13 Fast and First are giving us a look at different schools around the valley this morning, along with Sky 13. Right now, they are over Bunker Elementary School. It's up in the northwest part of the valley, and that's where Marissa Kinnison is taking a look around. Marissa? Yeah, Dana, Bunker Elementary, still pretty quiet out here this morning. Take a look, but those hallways in that campus will not look empty in just a couple hours. That's when school starts out here. And if you remember, this school is named after Berkeley Bunker, who served as the first U.S. Senator from Southern Nevada in the 30s and 40s. He also served as the state representative, so a lot of history out here. Welcome back to school, Broncos. All right, Marissa, thanks so much for that aerial view. A tuberculosis scare at Fremont Middle School may have some parents concerned for the first day of school, but we want to reassure you we've spoken with health officials who say students should be fine. If I had grandchildren who were in that age group, I would tell my son or daughter, go ahead and send them to school. There's virtually no risk of being exposed. CCSD says a staff member died after contracting TB in July. They alerted parents and 100 students were screened for TB this summer. All of those tests came back negative, but they will be retested in six weeks just to be safe. All right, Beth, thank you. Time now is 607. Coming up next, dozens of volunteers will line the hallways at a local elementary school today and find out why they are mostly men. And the man accused in that deadly attack in Charlottesville makes his first court appearance today. Hear what those who know him best are saying about him. Justin. And we are looking at some fairly strong 35 mile per hour wind gusts possible both today, tonight, and even tomorrow. That wind will also accompany some cooler than average temperatures. We'll see how long they last in your seven day planner. All right, and don't forget to snap a picture in those first day, uh, first day of school outfits. Share them with us on our KTNV Facebook page. This morning, we are taking a look at some live pictures of the scene in Charlottesville right now where a makeshift memorial is growing. You can see it right here, all the flowers along the road and even around the corner. I was looking at some different shots as well. People remembering and mourning 32 year old Heather Heyer, who was killed in Saturday's car attack after a protest involving the white nationalists in that college town. Now, new developments this morning in that deadly attack. Today, the Ohio man accused of plowing his car into counter protesters during that rally will make his first court appearance. 20 year old James Fields Jr. is expected to be arraigned on second degree murder charges. 32 year old Heather Height, as I mentioned, higher, excuse me, as I mentioned, was killed and more than a dozen others injured Saturday when police say that Fields rammed his car into the group of people. Meanwhile, people who know Fields have spoken out saying he wasn't shy about sharing his radical beliefs. Mm. A photograph of a UNR student is going viral this morning. It was taken at that same march in Charlottesville Friday night. Yeah, so take a look here. You see the man with a large group of white nationalists as they march. Well, this was before the Unite the Right rally on Saturday. Now on Twitter, a lot of people are calling him a racist, but he is saying that he does not consider himself a white supremacist. I'm not a neo-Nazi. I'm not an anti-Semite. Um, I personally believe that all, all people deserve to have their heritage, their language, their culture, and defend it with everything they can because it's true diversity in the world. Um, and I do not personally feel comfortable divulging which organization I am a part of. 
UNR has released a statement in response to the picture. It reads in part, as an institution, we remain firm in our commitment in denouncing all forms of bigotry and racism. All right, time now is 612. Coming up next, some local men taking on the title of role model for young kids. And today, well, today's our first day on the job. And later, if your child needs school supplies, but you're struggling to buy them, there's a way you can get some for free today. Welcome back. Chopper 13 fast and first. Good morning, Las Vegas. On this first day of school in Clark County, we are circling high overhead in North Las Vegas. That, that is Rancho High School, home of the Rams. And it's going to be a, a very good first day of school. That school looks beautiful from this high up and uh, wishing everyone a smooth start to their first day of school. School bus stop forecast this morning, 7 o'clock, we're 81 degrees, 8 o'clock, we're about 84 degrees, and by 9 in the morning, it's heating up to 88 degrees. Coming home from school this afternoon, 2 p.m., it's 98. A 3 to 4 p.m., temperatures will climb up to the high today, which is 100 degrees. The big weather factor this afternoon for kids coming home from school will be steady southwest winds uh, around 18 miles per hour and the wind gust through the afternoon could be as strong as 25 to 35 miles per hour. This is more wind than we've had in the forecast for the last week or so. It uh, looks like after a pretty gusty afternoon, winds tonight will still be noticeable at 25 miles per hour and even through the day Tuesday, some 25 mile per hour gusts are possible. Temperatures right now a little cooler than they've been the last few mornings in the upper 70s at McCarran, and we're looking at that high around 100 degrees by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Here's how quickly things will warm up. Low 80s at 7 in the morning, upper 80s at 9 in the morning, and we're already 94 degrees by 11 in the morning. 97 at 1 p.m. on our way to that high temperature around 3 or 4 p.m. of about 100 degrees. 13 first alert desert Doppler completely dry this morning. Something that's happened over the last few days, the humidity has dropped considerably and with dry air in place, Yasmin, lots of sunshine for this first week of school. No humidity means no storm chances to worry about. We will talk about how cool it will get tonight in your neighborhood coming up next. Should be nice. All right, thank you, Justin. Right now, Metro reporting a crash right near Jones and Lake Mead. As of right now, nothing you need to avoid. Lots of green on the map around this area, but we will keep an eye on it. Also, NHP is reporting some debris on the 95 out near Henderson. If you're heading north right near Auto Show, here's a live look out at the area. It doesn't seem to be slowing anything down, but if you are driving through this area, just be extra careful this morning. And if this is your way into the Spaghetti Bowl right now, you can expect 13 minutes to get there, going just about 66 miles an hour. Yes, I mean, thank you. Parent involvement is critical in any child's education. Yeah, but unfortunately, some kids out there, they don't have the complete support system at home. And Mercy Kinnison shows us uh, why a local school is making sure kids feel the support of a father figure. These hallways won't be empty in just a couple hours. Soon, the students at Kelly Elementary School will be greeted by over 100 volunteers cheering them on, and most of them men. That's because, according to the principal, about 9 out of 10 of her students are raised by a female family member and don't have a male role model, which she says is crucial to their education. Uh, I was able to talk with her about why she decided to hold this event for her young students. So that they have some, someone to look up to in addition, someone that perhaps maybe looks like them or someone um, else in their life as a role model. There will actually be a red carpet in front of the school for the students later this morning. It will actually lead them through these gates and into their first classes. Marissa Keniston, 13 Action News. A Valley school is the first in the state to have a high tech device in every classroom that could help in an active shooter situation. Lamb of God Elementary School near Jones and the 215 started the new school year with safe boxes. Each one is set up to only open with a teacher's fingerprint. Inside, teachers will have access to things like pepper spray and a police baton. Okay, heads up, Golden Ice fans. Regular season tickets, they will go on sale today. Yeah, the day very is exciting. Here. Sales begin at noon today for Nevada residents. We get a jump start on the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. Then at 2 p.m., the general public can buy tickets. Now, preseason tickets went on sale Friday for just three games. Of course, there will be a lot more games to choose from now for the regular season. For more information on the games, visit our website, ktnv.com. It is here. Yep. Finally, it is here. All right, time now is 619. 
19. Uh, still ahead, domestic violence accusations against Dallas Cowboys star running back Ezekiel Elliott. Now, the NFL is punishing him even though he was never charged. Find out why. And a happy first day of school to Christopher. Today is his first day at Coral Academy of Science. Oh, Christopher, uh. you're as cute as they come. Hey, don't forget to send your back to school pictures to our Facebook page. Christopher's picture just came in a few minutes ago. We'd love to share more on our air this morning. Oh, and who do you think that? that is? Who is that? <laughs> ah. That would be me Look at that. Uh, in fifth grade. And then here I am at my uh, high school homecoming uh -huh. dance. Yes. Uh, so some of our favorite memories here as well. Happy first day of school, everyone. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> news to give you early on this Monday morning, first day of school. We're looking at temperatures this afternoon around 100 degrees here in Las Vegas. That is four to five degrees less hot than it was over the weekend and the air is going to be pretty dry. Temperatures tonight, I mentioned this to Yasmin a few moments ago, it's actually going to be several degrees cooler tonight than it's been for the last several nights. So that's also going to provide, I think, for some comfortable sleeping weather. We are a week away from this uh, heralded 2017 solar eclipse. It is not going to be a total 100% eclipse here in Las Vegas. We've got a 72% eclipse expected. That's going to happen at 1027 in the morning next Monday, and the sky will darken. You will notice a difference. It has been good news for uh, astronomy buffs. We are looking at good visibility for that eclipse next Monday morning. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Justin. Right now, NHP reporting a new crash right near the Spaghetti Bowl. If you're heading north on the 95 using Las Vegas Boulevard, the crash is on the on-ramp. So not slowing things down on the 95 itself. You can see traffic flowing nicely into the